Hello and welcome back to Jane Art. This week I thought I would share the whole process from start to finish of making this sunset wave painting. Whilst I do this I'll share something interesting I've learned recently about relaxation and also how I'm evolving as an artist. I can't quite believe that we're already seeing the leaves turn golden and thinking about Halloween. <laughs> it seems like just a couple of weeks ago we were complaining about being too hot. Feeling nostalgic about the summer meant that I wanted to work on this painting. Enjoying the colours of the sea and the sunset took me back to those long summer evenings spent on the beach. This time of year always feels a little bit like a whirlwind. What with the new school year starting and fitting all our activities into the weekly agenda. I didn't even manage to make a video last week for you as I was too busy getting ready for an art show and competition that I took part in at the weekend. It was all worth it though because I won first prize which was a huge surprise and felt amazing but I struggled with feeling very exhausted towards the end as we were there the entire weekend speaking to lots and lots of different people. I'm focusing on slowing down a bit now and remembering the things that matter. It's too easy, I think, to get swept up in the rush of life and forget to just enjoy the little things and savour the moment. That's my focus for this week. <laughs> Go on, Max. Get the book. I learned something quite interesting this week about something called fractals and it's related to the kind of art that I make. Fractals, if you're not sure, are a curve or geometrical figure like that of a snowflake or a tree or waves on the sea or the clouds in the sky in which similar patterns recur at progressively smaller scales. Looking at fractal patterns was found to reduce stress by up to 60%. It seems that the stress reduction occurs because of a certain physiological resonance within the eye. Also, in evolutionary terms, we were often exposed to these natural patterns in nature. But now we spend most of our time enclosed in artificial environments. Looking at these natural, complex patterns significantly reduces our stress and calms the nervous system. I think this may partly explain why I love painting curved lines so much and seascapes. Something about the repeating lines of the waves and the clouds just feels very natural and calming. I thought I'd share that little bit of information with you and perhaps you can put it to use somehow in your environment if you work in an office, um, perhaps buy one of those plants that have you know, real fractal patterns in them something maybe like a spiral aloe or a fern um, and just pop it on your desk and see how it makes you feel, see if it makes you feel calmer um, when you look at it. Anyway, um, I am feeling like my art is taking a new turn, a new development which is quite exciting in my life as an artist. Um, I have been painting a lot of sort of emotion, a lot of scenes of people together, people kissing, people hugging, people reuniting, um, couples, romance, that kind of thing. And now my art seems to have naturally moved more towards painting the sea. 
and I'm not sure why but I want to paint more and more seascapes so I'm going to follow this desire and my next plan is to put boats on these seascapes so I'm going to be branching out into a boat painting and boat portrait painting um, adventure soon and I can't wait. I'm also going to be using a lot more oil paint in my paintings um, because I use it for some of my realistic animal portraits and I just love the feel of painting with oils so I thought now's the time. I look forward very much to sharing with you how this develops over time and sharing the paintings that I'll be making. I think as artists it's really important not to get stuck in just painting one type of thing and if you feel naturally that you're moving on to some new subject then you should let yourself progress. As always thank you so much for watching I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed and those of you who leave comments as well it just really helps YouTube to understand that people enjoy the video and then show it to other people to watch as well so go ahead and leave a comment don't be shy <laughs> and I will see you again next week bye for now